Alright, welcome to this episode. Today we are going to be bleeding your cooling system. So if you changed anything in the cooling system or opened it up or let any coolant spill out for any reason, you're going to need to uh, bleed the system to get all the air out of it. So this is how you do it on VW cars. So, my coolant bottle is flipping stiff. Move as you like. I was going to say, just open the coolant bottle cap, it's easy, but uh, it might be a struggle, particularly if you've got a nice high mileage beastie. So, if you're brimming this from absolutely nothing, you're going to be chucking some red antifreeze or some G12 or G13 or G14, whatever the latest spec VW G flavoured antifreeze is. It should be red coloured because red coloured is important for these systems. It's got particular chemicals in it, and those chemicals work with the pipes and the rubber inside the cooling system and mean you don't get a leak. If you put blue in these, you're more likely to get a leak because the blue antifreeze has different chemicals which don't interact as well with the rubber and the, the bits of important stuff you want to keep good inside your car. So, you topped it up for the most part with uh, antifreeze. Now remember, antifreeze is only the part that stops your coolant freezing water is the bit that does the heat transfer in your cooling system. You do need water in there, and you want about a 50-50 mix, or a little bit less, if you're uh, in the summer. But you're going to want to chuck probably two litres of red antifreeze in there, and then top the rest off with water. That's until you start to fill the bottle up. Now, it's quite simple to get the air lock out of the system. With these VW cars, you start the car and leave it running. That's it. Let's go. Uh, check your flow. Pressure with that hateful, hateful clip. Amount of flow returning to the bottle, with no air blocks in it. Once the car's running as well, you want to jump inside, make sure you're not on the AC, and you want to turn the heater up all the way as much as it will go so that we're flowing coolant through the heater matrix. Um, get it so that it's blowing somewhere through the blower. Now, when our coolant gauge has reached up here and we're getting warm air out of our vents we're going to know our cooling system's bled but before that can happen we need to have closed off the reservoir cap because that's going to have to build pressure inside that before we're going to get any heat out of the system or we're going to get up to temperature on our thermometer so we're going to leave that running at idle or if you're a bit impatient bring the revs up to 2000, run a high idle until you've got most of the uh, most of the air out of the system so it'll probably take five or ten minutes worth of running just to get all the coolant out of the system keep monitoring the level in your in your coolant reservoir obviously and uh, that's how you bleed your cooling system if you like content like this and this has helped you out please like, subscribe, comment We'll see you next time here on Gibbo Garage.